All right, we won't be following telemetry today unless uh, we go on board specifically with certain people, so uh, we don't give too much away. Drivers out of the pits now. It is the Toro Rosso of, I'm going to call him Ollie. And he is already into the wall coming out of the pit lane. Second out of the pit lane. Looks like it is. Zelansky David. So just for everybody tuning in, if the cars sound different, any car in F1 2019 currently running a Renault engine is going to sound like an F2004 Ferrari. So that adds a little bit of an extra layer of excitement to this race. Hopefully we can see a few of those Renault engines out front today. So Delansky, David in the McLaren, currently the leader out of the pits here with no damage as we saw that Toro Rosso earlier on take some damage. This is gonna be a very intense race guys here in Spain for this wet race. Fortunate for a dry quality though. We'll see some pretty good times, I'm sure. For those of you that are unfamiliar with the circuit here in Barcelona, it is a 4.6 kilometer circuit with the first race taking place in 1991. The race distance is 307 kilometers on a normal 100% length race, but we are only doing half of that today. So we are going to be doing, I believe, 33 laps here in Spain. The lap record is currently held by Daniel Ricardo, who drives for Renault. However, that record was set in 2018 when he was driving for the Red Bull racing team. This being one of the most balanced tracks on the circuit, I'm sure most of you guys know, is host to winter testing ahead of the 2020, 2019, and other Formula One seasons. We're gonna take a look at the chat now. Um, Bug Bad Boom has followed us on stream. Thank you very much. Orgs TV follows. Thank you very much, dude. I greatly appreciate it. Smoka Inc. has followed. Thank you very much. And Jersey28 has followed. Thank you very much. Thank you for tuning into the stream. We are looking forward to an amazing race here in Spain. We are now on board with the McLaren as he comes through the final section here in Spain to finish out what is what should be his first hot lap. Top three times right now, 119.9 by the Mercedes of Blind, 120.6 by Don Lucio, and a 120.7 by Skybits. Don Lucio and Skybits running in tandem in those Alfa Romeos. And it's a 121.9 from Delansky in the McLaren. Now on board with the Ferrari of Kroga. As we see Typhoon take provisional pull here in Spain with a 119.8. Currently around seven hundredths quicker than his Mercedes counterpart. So it's Williams, Mercedes, and Haas in the top three right now with Miku Hoon taking a 120.3. Only six drivers now to set lap times. Phoenix, 51 followers, let's go. Yeah, buddy, let's go. 52 followers. I appreciate all of the support, guys. Thank you very much, Gaming Jump, for the follow. You guys are making my day right now, but hopefully this race on Spain can really, really, really make it thrilling. I think I will show telemetry. It's a little more exciting. People do, after all, watch a lot of commentary on F1 2019 to learn a little more. A few more drivers now setting their qualifying times. Racer 33, a 128. 0.6 on hard compound tires. We'll see if he goes into the pits to do something about that time. Could just be warming up on circuit. May not have gotten enough practice in. 
may not be happy with where he's sitting, wants to get a few more laps in on the circuit before he goes in for the soft or medium compound tires here. With the 10 drivers now setting laps, the top 10 drivers now setting laps on the grid, we will go down the grid from 1st to 10th. It is Silver Arrow on provisional pole right now with a 119.1 on the soft compound tire. The Williams of Typhoon currently sitting in the pits, running a 119.8 on the medium compound tire. Blind, a 119.9, with, which, with what I think is the soft compound tire. Uh, Mika Hoon is fourth in that Haas with a 120.0. Those two Haas drivers looking to load up the front two rows of the grid today. It is Red Bull. I believe this is Luchario or Lusario uh, in the Red Bull on the medium compound tire. He set a 120.6 and he's fifth fastest. His teammate behind him, Stig, 120.2. He's in sixth. Don Lucio currently in seventh with Skybits closely behind him with eighth position, a 120.7 and a 120.6 from them respectively. Don Lucio, I do believe, set his time on the soft compound with Skybits flying around on mediums for this quali. Ollie in the Toro Rosso is in ninth with a 121.1. Lucario. All right, Lucario, I got you. I got you. We have the racing point here of this is this is tricky. I don't know how to pronounce this. Somebody's going to have to I'm, I, So racing point in 10th, he is a 121.5 on the hard compound tire. Looks like he has some very decent pace on those hard compound tires. Racer 33, like I said before, I've raced with him. He is a fairly quick driver. He set a 121.7 on that hard compound tire. Delansky David, a 121.8 on softs, I do believe. He is currently rounding off the grid in 12th with two drivers not setting times. That it will be Jeb and Ozil. Jeb in a McLaren, Ozil in a racing point. Kissed, kissed, I think it's kissed. He is currently running 13th as he has not yet set a time. He is looking to come out of the pits maybe and get a time set with his teammate Kroga now entering a, a hot lap. We'll go on board with him as we go through the first section here in Barcelona. I appreciate you Fa Phantom, very good. I thank you very much for you recommending me. Oh, and we have a spin here. We have a spin here. Oh, no, it's that Ferrari spinning out. He's going to watch for traffic here as some of those drivers could very well be on hot laps. Currently on board now with the last place, Renault. Currently running the medium compound tire as he looks to finish a hot lap here in Spain. What time will we be seeing from him? And it's pole. The Renault of a left 588 takes pole with a 118.5, throwing down the gauntlet on those medium compound tires. It looks like he is very comfortable on this circuit after watching a beautiful time set like that. As you guys can see, this grid is very, very tight. It is a 118.5 for pole right now. We will see if anybody else can beat that. Currently eight and a half minutes left in this qualifying session. What's going on, Yoda? Welcome to the stream. What's going on, BTF? Welcome to the stream, guys. We got a real scorcher for you guys today. If you're sticking around, it is Spain, 50 percenter, and we have some friends in the race. It is Skybits in the race as well as uh, a couple other drivers from various leagues that I'm sure you guys have raced with in the past. You're gonna go get some drinks in you? Sounds like a plan, Yoda. Just got home, BTF. Well, low key here, I can't be, I can't be too biased here. Um, I'm sure some of my friends in the chat know who I am cheering for in this race, but I'm watching 18 drivers today, so we are going to have a real fun time.
for those of you just tuning in, it is a dry qualifier here in Spain. However, it is going to be a wet race. It is going to be a weather-affected race here in Barcelona. It's going to be a crazy race. For those of you that don't know too, too much about the Spanish F1 Grand Prix, Michael Schumacher with Ferrari and his various teams over the course of his career in the late 1990s and early 2000s has won this Grand Prix six times. Other multiple winners include Jackie Stewart, Mika Hakkinen, Nigel Manziel, and Alain Prost, each with three wins apiece. Quite a fun fact there. I'm sure some of you may Remember, in 1996, Schumacher had an absolutely superlative drive here in the wet. And um, it's very hard, very hard to drive this circuit in the wet. There are quite a few turns where you can slide off the circuit here. Of course, that first section coming out of the second sector is one of those areas where I'm looking to see quite a few interesting either spins, DNFs, or various uh, incidents. In 2016, Verstappen made history here in Spain as in 2016, the Spanish Grand Prix was notable for one of the most talked about incidents of recent times in Formula One as Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg came together on the opening lap, ending both of their races. The crash paved the way for Max Verstappen to take an impressive victory on his very first appearance with the Red Bull team. It was hard fought for, as the former Ferrari driver Kimi Raikkonen pushed the Dutchman all the way to the finish, with Verstappen winning by just over half a second. As a result, he became the youngest ever Grand Prix driver winner at 18 years and 228 days. So, fun fact there, guys. So as these drivers now come down to the five-minute mark left in qualifying, we are going to review the top 10 drivers in quali here. It is a left still sitting atop pole position with a 118.5. Typhoon in the Williams coming in at 118.8. Stig currently rounding off the top three with a 119.1. However, very close behind him is the Haas of the Silver Arrow 27 at 119.134. Only six thousandths of a second separating third and fourth position here in Spain. It is blind in the Mercedes currently out on a flyer. He is currently sitting fifth in qualifying with a 119.2. Jersey in the other Renault looking to catch his teammate on pole running a 119.4. Looks like he's currently on an outlap. We'll hopefully see him move up in the grid. The Haas of Mikuhun currently seventh with a 119.5 and Skybits in 8th with a 119.7 in that Alfa Romeo. Delansky currently sitting in ninth with a 119.9 in that McLaren with Lucario in P10 with a 120.6. And that rounds off your top 10 drivers here so far in qualifying in Barcelona. In 11th, it is Don Lucio in 120.2 area for his lap time with I'm going to go with Oikail, Oikail, the racing point currently in 12th with a 120.4. Somebody's going to have to help me with this guy's name. I don't want to botch it all commentary. The Torosso of Oli is currently out of the session now with a 121.1. He will come in 13th so far. We'll see if Racer 33 and Kroger can improve on their times to knock him out of that 13th position. Racer 33 with a 121.7. Kroga in 15th with a 139.3 and it'll be Kist in the Ferrari, Jeb in the McLaren and Ozil in the other racing point not setting times here in qualifying. Just call him that one racing point guy, sounds good. That sounds good. Two and a half minutes left here in the qualifying.
I'm really looking forward to some action-packed wheel-to-wheel racing here in Spain. This track is a very, very intricate circuit. It's a very technical circuit. It's also a very balanced circuit with that long pitch straight, the twists and turns, sector two can be very complicated. And then of course, the low speed sector three.
Thank you very much for the follow. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you for tuning into the race. As you can see, guys, there's the rain that we were just talking about here in Spain. Spain, a very interesting track, especially in the wet. Especially in the wet. As these drivers get loaded up. Wonder what we're going to see here. It is a Renault 2-4 two, two with a Haas on pole. Really exciting stuff. Really exciting stuff. Not too sure if we have a formation lap here, and we do. So we are off on our way here in Spain on to the warm-up formation lap here. That Haas out in front quite far. These drivers are going to really want to work on warming up their tires for this race because those wets, they're on inters actually. So we're not too, too heavy on the rain right now. We could see a change later on. But as you can see, the drivers on those enters all the way down the grid. Not a single driver opting for wets or dry tires. Everybody's on those intermediate tires. We'll see how things play out. If anybody has an insight into the weather for the entirety of the race, will we see any opening, opening clouds, any parting of the clouds here for some dry racing, or is it going to be raining through the entire race? We will find out. So it is a Red Bull 6-7, a Renault 2-4. Williams up nice and deep into that grid starting in third. He is the only Williams on the circuit today. We've only got one Toro Rosso on the grid today as well. So if you guys are wondering, the Toro Rosso and the Williams will be fighting alone for points today in the championship. Hey, what's going on, Ro? Cairo, Ro? Welcome to the stream, buddy. As we now come around this final corner here, the drivers are getting ready to line up on the grid. <clears throat> we'll see how these drivers take off at the start of the race. We'll see who can keep the traction on circuit as things get a little wet on that starting tarmac. All drivers now arriving to their start positions here on the grid. The Toro Rosso, the last to join as we see him, goes through the McLaren of Jeb. And here we go. The race is about to get underway here in Spain. It's one, two, three, four, five lights now. And here we go. It is lights out. And away we go here in Barcelona. As we see all the cars now flying down the opening of this race here in Spain, going into turn one, we will see what kind of contact we get. Everybody so far looking like it's clean. Doesn't look like we have any contact here so far here in Spain. A nice, clean opening turn one here. Very nice to see that in the wet. We don't have too, too many position changes at the moment. Actually, Alef down into sixth with Jersey down into fourth now, them losing that 2-4 starting positions. Silver Arrow now running away in the lead of this race with Typhoon behind him. Blind in third, and that rounds off the top three drivers coming out of the first few turns here in Spain. And there is some contact there. It is the Renault of Jersey tapping the Mercedes in the rear there. Five-second penalty for a severe collision down the line. Somebody hit Don Lucio. Not too sure who that was. Looking for some debris on circuit here. It looks like it may have been the racing point in 12th position who hit him. Skybits in the Alfa Romeo up into 8th now. Stig in 6th. He stayed into his position. And it is Lucario, Lucario sorry, back into 14th. So his opening of this race wasn't too, too great either. Doesn't look like he has any significant damage on his car there. And things are just going real interesting here in the opening of this Spanish Grand Prix. And as mentioned before, guys, it is a 33-lap race here. A 
lap weather affected race i might add and if you are just tuning into the stream now it is spain and we are now moving into the second lap of the race here wave gaming thank you very much for the follow my dude greatly appreciate it welcome to the stream welcome to this 50 percenter here on spain my name is strifium and i am your commentator for this race welcome to my channel buddy greatly appreciate the follow ali gangsta in the chat popping off a sad face for kroga that is terrible he is out of this race currently i wonder what happened to him there could be an incident that we may see a decision on from the stewards later on post race we don't really know what happened there if anybody is able to tell me in the chat please do i'd love to know what happened to that ferrari silver arrow now in the lead of the race closely behind him is the williams of typhoon with the mercedes closely on his rear as well the mercedes or sorry the Renault of jersey in fourth his teammate going wheel to wheel now with the red bull of stig he is now out in front of that red bull Waiting for some intervals to pop up here so we can get in on some wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing action. But so far, over these first two laps, everything is quite tight still as we see many position changes coming up and down the grid. Let's take a look and see what some of these drivers have done so far in the race. Ozil in the racing point. He's currently running in 11th position. He has made a seven-place jump here since the start of the race, and that is quite quite magnificent considering we are only on the third lap of the race now it is lucario into the pits now he has lost nine positions since the start of this race he might be looking to get some repairs done on his car not too sure what happened with him there it does look like he is going to go on some new fresh inter tires with a new wing he'll be looking to make up quite a few positions now as he gets that end of second lap pit in Two drivers now out of this race. That is Oli Pub. Oli Pub, or I'll call him Oli in that Toro Rosso. He is now out of the race. That will be it for Toro Rosso today, as he was the only Toro Rosso on the grid. Very unfortunate to see these early retirements, as I was looking forward to seeing a full finish here for everybody on the grid. But of course, it is a weather affected race here in Spain. Not the most, not the easiest track to drive, let's just say that. Silver Arrow still up in that first position with the race lead Typhoon and the Mercedes having a bit of a wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle here. Let's watch and see how this unfolds. Typhoon currently three seconds behind race leader of Silver Arrow in that Haas with the Mercedes battling for that second position with the Williams of Typhoon. The Renault is now back into a solid running position. Although Jersey has dropped back two places, they are now running side by side in the standings here with Jersey leading his teammate in fourth and Aleph in fifth. The gap between those two cars currently less than one second. Mika Hoon coming ahead of the Red Bull here into turn one. And he will stay out in front here. Ali Gangsta, my dude, thank you very much for the follow, bro. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the stream. I hope you are enjoying this race with us as we are four laps in now. Watching this front runner battle here as the Mercedes and the Williams keep fighting through each turn, there is quite a small gap here. And with this battle going on, the gap between the second place driver and that Haas in lead position is increasing now to three and a half seconds. Ali Gangster, you're going to take off, but keep this going. Really impressive solo cast. Thank you very much, Ali. I greatly appreciate that. Waitus, welcome to the stream, my dude. We got quite a scorching race going on here. It is a weather-affected 50 percenter in Spain. Sherry Kroga, I put a wheel on the grass going into turn five and hit the back of somebody. Terrible, terrible. A very unfortunate end to Kroga's race in that Ferrari as he dropped back from P13, it seems, or P14. 
very difficult to come off of the track when you touch the grass, especially in wet conditions. Very unfortunate. Very sorry to hear that, my man. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next race. However, thanks for tuning into the stream. Hopefully, you can ride along with us here with some of these drivers. Still, the Mercedes of Blind keeping a tight lock on that Williams of Typhoon in second and third. These guys are really fighting. The gap from third to fourth is now three and a half seconds. A couple of gaps increasing here, but it is the teammate of our race leader, Mika Hoon, currently running in fifth, trying to get closer and closer to that Renault through this wet conditions. With Stig in the Red Bull on his rear, less than half a second. Jersey and the other Renault now dropping back five places from his start position. He did start, guys, if you do remember, in second. He is now back into seventh. We'll go on board with him for the remainder of this lap. As you can see now, guys, three drivers in the race have so far pitted. It is that racing point guy, Lucario, and Delansky already into the pits here in the opening few laps of this race. It's possible that those drivers may have had contact upon the uh, first and second laps, causing wing changes. It is a very long race yet, though, guys, so do not count those guys out in the bottom of the grid for the time being. Their tires are fresher, and their wings are not damaged in any way at this time. Yeah, Sherry Kroga, unfortunately, unable to avoid any damage on his car. And it's Don Lucio into the pits in that Alfa Romeo. Now we'll see what's going on there. Doesn't look like he has any damage on his wit, his wing. He may have just gone in for a wing change. And we'll see him come out on fresh inter tires as well. Ollie and Kroga leaving the session. Very impressed here with the ability of this Mercedes driver being able to maintain such a close gap on that second position, Williams, here in the wet. Very good to see as we come slowly around these last few turns. Now rounding the final corner as we head into the seventh lap of the race. As we can see, the Haas of Silver Arrow currently up six seconds on the second place driver. Very, very, very large gap forming there for the race leader blind very close up on the williams of typhoon now we'll see if we can get a move down on him through this seventh lap here in barcelona the renault of a left waiting to see what unfolds between these two drivers looking to make up some time while they battle hopefully slip through and get himself into a podium position as you can see now there have only been four drivers pitting so far and it is the top 12 drivers who have not yet had to pit here in this race sherry kroga thank you for the follow my dude greatly appreciate it greatly greatly appreciate it Hey, Sneaky, yeah, subs, uh, I'm not cool enough to get subs yet, but um, I'm hoping within the next couple of days I can. I hit 50 followers today, which means that I, uh, I do believe I am qualifying for affiliate. So hopefully we can get that stuff together soon. I greatly appreciate the thought. It's just unfortunate that you can't right now. So until next time. But I really, agree, I really greatly appreciate it. A lot of my regular viewers in the stream watching these guys race it out here in Spain. Waitis, Sneaky, BTF, Yoda. Hope you guys are all still with us as we are watching a fantastic race here in Spain. Now, it is Blind, who has fallen behind the Renault of Aleph, who snuck by him while they were fighting with that Williams out in front. But we'll see another switch of positions here. 
Ooh, very sneaky there by the Mercedes, but the Renault comes out ahead once again. It, this is fantastic racing as we go on board now with the Renault currently very, very close to the rear of that Mercedes. Both of these drivers now falling back behind the rear of that Williams, but the Williams very slow into this turn. He may have lost some time to the Mercedes behind him there as Jersey in the other Renault flies into the pits with Jeb moving up a place into 11th. That racing point guy into 12th now. As some of these drivers pit, we see a shift in the back of the grid running. Very, very fantastic driving here. Hopefully most of what we've seen here with these Renault and Mercedes drivers has been clean. As we can see, none of those drivers have any contact on their front wings. And it's Don Lucio retiring from the session. What happened to Don Lucio? Unfortunately, we were not on board with Don Lucio when he may have crashed here. It looks like his car went off on one of the final turns of the race coming out in sector three. This is very unfortunate here as Don Lucio is now out of the race in the Alfa Romeo, leaving Skybits, the only Alfa Romeo remaining here in the race. Oh yes, and of course, Cairo is also here in the stream. My apologies. Sorry, I missed you there for a moment. Thank you for reminding me. And it is the front eight drivers here on the grid into the pits now. Looks like Silver Arrow already out of the pits with Typhoon shortly behind him. Blind. And the Renault of a left very close behind there on that Williams. As all of these drivers have now pit in. In seemingly an orderly fashion. So the top 10 drivers, 11 drivers, everybody into the pits now. We'll see if some of those early pit stop drivers can make an advantage and come ahead. Very unfortunate to see Don Lucio retire in that Alfa Romeo. I am a big fan of Alfa Romeo, of course. My favorite team being Ferrari, however. Very sad to see Kroga out. For those of you just joining us now, we are on lap nine behind a safety car. It seems that Don Lucio may have brought out a safety car. I apologize for not noticing that earlier. The safety car frequency was adjusted earlier this week in an F1 update. So we will see more racing or safety cars in these races. All these drivers into the pits now for a fresh change of tires. Behind that safety car, we see Silver Arrow. It looks like the grid has maintained its full position here. But this is good news for those back runners of Lucario and that Racing Point guy who had to pit early in this race. They, you can see, are now on two-stop strategies with a couple of the other drivers like Ozil pitting during safety car. It's just a really fantastic lineup. I can't believe we have a safety car here in Spain. Very, very exciting stuff as the grid will reform now, waiting on all these drivers to catch the queue. Currently running on lap nine. We are now about to head into lap 10, and the safety car remains out for lap 10. Very, very interesting race here. Very exciting stuff as safety cars always make things interesting. The grid now reforming. This is just exciting stuff here in Spain. I love seeing those intervals come down to very, very, very minimal margins. Of course, that safety car slowing everything down. Alef taking a penalty of five seconds for exceeding track limits. Oh no, that will not be looking good for him after this safety car because this grid is super, super tight. As you can see, there's barely five seconds separating Alef and the drivers up into 10th position so he will really really need to work here to form a gap between him and the drivers behind him in order to maintain his finished position five second penalties are quite difficult to manage obviously all drivers wanting to try and keep all of those corner cuts and track limit excisions to a minimum <clears throat> Very fun stuff here in Spain.
Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a word custom. If it is, that's great. But I, I, I feel like I have the ability and authority to make up some of my own words here. Ex excisions, excisions is what I, I, I use there. But we'll, we'll, we'll Google it in Oxford later. The safety car is in now, going through into lap 11 here as the grid has now reformed. You can see quite a tight grid lineup now as the queue is starting to separate with Silver Arrow still in the lead of this race. So far, quite a dominating drive from the Haas driver. A lot of American fans will be happy to see Haas running the lead of this race here in Spain. Typhoon in second. It's maintaining that second position for the entirety of this race as well. We've seen a fantastic drive from him thus far. The Mercedes of Blind sticking to that Williams-like glue with the Renault of a left behind him. And it is Jeb leaving the session. He may have had a crash. We'll see if he comes back on in. He's currently running in last position on the grid, but he does have significant wind damage here. His car is still running in the race but he does not have any end plates on his front wing, so he may have had contact with one of the drivers after the safety car came in. He may have just been finished with this race. He's gonna pull a Kimmy and go and sit on the sidelines and watch from his boat, if there was anywhere to do that here. But he is looking like he's out of this race in that McLaren, which is bad news for his teammate of Delansky as he will be left to fend for himself. Not too sure what the regulations are here in the ARL, for leaving the session with your car still on track will make things a little difficult for some of the drivers to overtake if ghosting is enable or not enabled as we see racer 33 now come into the pits come out of the pits i should say jeb still out on track he has not returned to his car and it is lucario into the pits for a third time i do believe Not going the way he wanted it this race here in Spain. He is not happy, I can only imagine. As he now exits the pits in that Red Bull, he'll be looking to catch the driver of Jeb in the McLaren, who's not currently in his seat, I don't think. Blind. Now back into third place as Aleph comes ahead here. It looks like we may have had contact down the grid as Typhoon is now back into seventh. Very, very odd to see. We'll see if he has any damage on his front wing. It's very possible that he may have just had a spun as the track conditions did get a little more wet here in Spain due to that safety car. The cars aren't driving as quick. Everybody's taking the same line. Different areas of the circuit now become far more slippery for these drivers. So he is now in seventh with a left currently into second position with a two second gap between him and the race leader of Silver Arrow. Blind, looking to make a pass, I'm sure, on that Renault. Mika Hoon currently running fourth with Stig in fifth. Skybits in that Alpha in sixth. Looks like a very good drive for him thus far, keeping things quite clean. Typhoon, oh, it's very unfortunate to see him in seventh. He currently has a 2.5 second ga uh, gap between him and the driver of Skybits. And it's Skybits taking a lead over Stig. What happened to Stig here? I'm not too sure if that was an overtake or if we saw the two come together or what. It looks like he came ahead of that Red Bull quite quickly, actually. And it's Typhoon now on the rear of that Red Bull, less than half a second. We'll see if he can make a move coming into Sector 2. Skybits now into fifth in that alpha. Very good drive from him so far. And we see Blind going wheel to wheel with the Haas of Mika Hoon. Mika Hoon looking to come into that podium places to join his teammate in the Haas. Very good racing so far here, guys. We have some very tight intervals looking for a lot of fun action here. I'm sorry I've missed some of the more major moments like the spin and possible crash of Don Lucio, which I was unable to see. We had some contact, I think, between Typhoon and one of the other drivers, perhaps, pushing him into that seventh position, but he will be looking to make up some time here. A Skybits now rearing very close to the Haas driver of Mikahoon. 
looking to fight for that fourth position here as he goes down the inside through the pit straight. Now on board with him. We'll back it up into that Haas camera as very late braking from the Haas driver puts him ahead of the Alfa Romeo of Skybits. Skybits looking to come back here through turns two and three. Mika Hoon very slow on this hanging right turn here. Skybits looking to be patient as Mika Hoon is now very close to the Mercedes in front of him, keeping things quite, quite close. Obviously, we do not have DRS in this race, so these drivers not able to enable DRS due to the wet conditions. Let's see if we can find another battle here. Typhoon on the rear of Stig in that Red Bull. Currently, according to our intervals, he is around half a second behind the Red Bull of Stig. As we come through this difficult left-right section, this section has the ability to catch a lot of drivers out, over-accelerating over that mound. The Renault of Jersey behind the Williams of Typhoon. He's looking to make a move here. Ooh, and he comes quite close here. He's cutting that corner. Doesn't seem like he received any kind of warning through that as we see a new fastest lap come in. He's looking to make a move down this straight. He comes down the outside. Typhoon leaves the door open on the outside. Not a very good move by Typhoon there. And it's wheel to wheel through turn one. Jersey now. Very, very close with Typhoon. These guys are battling it out very hard here. A little bit of wheel contact there. That looks like a little bit of a minor racing incident. Typhoon looking to come back here. Jersey slowing up a bit. Not too sure if that was his fault or not. Looking to keep things clean here. And it is the Red Bull on the curbing. The Renault sli slowing down quite a bit. These drivers do not have very much grip through that turn. It seems as everyone very slow on that turn. Jeb having been passed now by Lucario. Lucario coming down turn one. He's looking to make up some space now. He's currently 20 seconds behind the Mercedes of Racer 33 here. Oh, and that Racing Point guy takes a drive-through penalty for speeding under safety car. It looks like we have another safety car coming out here on track as it's Delansky in that McLaren. Where did he go off in that McLaren? This is not good as another driver is unable to finish the race and we have our second safety car here in Spain. We'll see what happens here, <clears throat> excuse me, as we'll see if any of these drivers decide to pit. Couple drivers with possible damage here may come in. I think Jeb retiring was a little bit premature as he definitely could have recovered after this second safety car has made this race completely unpredictable. It is the Ferrari of Kist and the Alfa Romeo of Skybits into the pits now, as well as that racing point. Few drivers into the pits now as we come to follow up on that safety car. It was only just five laps ago that that safety car was already out on track. We are not even halfway through the race yet. We're one lap away from 50% um, completion here in Spain. Jazz Daddy too. Hey, what's going on, dude? How you doing? I'm doing very good. Commentating a very, very exciting race here in Spain for the ARL, Amateur Racing League. It is round six as they are following the 2019 race calendar, I do believe. Thank you for joining us on stream, buddy. If anybody in the chat has any questions for me or any questions about this race, please feel free to let me know. For those just tuning in, it is lap 16 here in Spain and we are under safety car conditions in this weather affected race in Barcelona. So we're Aero in the lead of this race for the entirety he was our pole sitter, and he has had quite a dominating drive thus far.
You like to do commentating? Right on, dude. This is the first time I have had an opportunity to commentate a full race. I hope you guys are enjoying so far. I greatly appreciate everybody tuning in to this awesome race. Silver Arrow, very close to that safety car now as we are on board with him. These drivers, very important to try and keep those tires warm through these wet conditions here. As you can see, the rain on the circuit is massive. There is very, very little dry space here on the circuit as far as we can tell. The safety car making everything difficult here for people trying to make moves. Now the grid shaping up again as everybody catches the safety car it is the mclaren of jeb i do believe going to be holding things up as he is not currently driving that car as you can see here he has a damaged front wing and he only has stopped once the top seven drivers on the grid opting to stay out on the one-stop strategy so far here in spain with sky bits chris or kissed and that racing point guy opting to pit again during safety car conditions Um, I am on PC. This race is also on PC. So this is PC Formula One 2019 action that we're seeing here. It's Lucario taking a five second penalty. Jazz Daddy 2, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, you're hosting. You're hosting. Thank you very much for the host. Greatly appreciate the host, my dude. Oh, I accidentally out tobbed out of the race there without. Sorry about that, guys. A little technical difficulty. Does the cars have RTX? <laughs> Wait us. <clears throat> Welcome back, Cairo. Still under safety car conditions here. On lap 18, it is kissed into the pits now, dropping back behind that McLaren. We're going to have to wait for him to catch that safety car now as well. This race has slowed down drastically. Action is at a minimum right now as we are under safety car conditions. For those of you who were unaware the safety car frequency was adjusted earlier this week by codemasters meaning that we will be seeing a lot more safety cars in these races as well as i do believe the vsc will be coming out a little more often as well it's a lot nicer to see these physical safety cars coming out though because it bunches up the grid and allows for some very exciting racing once that car comes in Ferrari running in 14th now, looking to make up some places as he comes back through, down, trying to catch that safety car cue. Jeb now not able to catch the safety car. Uh, well, he is now catching the safety car, but he is not in his driver's seat. He has left the session. The safety car is coming in at the end of lap 18, guys, as we get ready to kind of fly away here moving into lap 19 as you can see the race leader of silver arrow is backing up the grid now making it so that he can have a great exit as that safety car comes in once that safety car comes in will we will be under green flag conditions and there is that safety car coming into the pits now it is Silver Arrow out in front. He's made up a one and a half seconds on that Renault. That Renault a little slow to get back onto things. And it is green flags here in Spain as Silver Arrow now moving down into turn one. We see the Mercedes of Blind leaping ahead of that Renault there coming into turn one. We see a little bit of wheel-to-wheel -wheel action there, but the Mercedes very comfortable on his tires at the moment, being very, very quick out of that turn one sector section i should say and he comes out into second place moving ahead of the Renault. 
at Renault now only three tenths behind the Mercedes with Stig into P4, currently a second and a half behind the front three. Mika Hoon moving ahead of the Red Bull of Stig now. It is Stig and Mika Hoon wheel to wheel here as we come through down into that left hander. It's that long left turn now. Stig currently sitting in fourth with Mika Hoon in fifth, Jersey in sixth, Typhoon all the way back into seventh. Not too happy to see that, I'm sure, is the Williams team as he was running in second as Skybits comes ahead of Typhoon very quickly, very, very quickly on those fresh inter tires. He did choose to pit earlier on before that safety car, or as that safety car came out, I should say. And it is some wheel to wheel action here with the Alpha and the Williams drivers. We're gonna go on board now with the racing point behind them as we can see this action unfold in front of us from his point of view. And again, another safety car as the Ferrari fails to come onto the wet circuit. Where did he come off? He came off just outside of the pit entry. Oh my God, very unfortunate here as out of the 18 drivers, there are only 13 remaining here in the race. Again, I will mention that Jeb is not currently controlling his car unless he may have rejoined as we see that car coming into the pits for a wing and tire change. It's very possible that he returned now. If anybody's able to confirm for me, please do in the chat. So we are now getting ready to follow our third safety car here in Spain. What a race. What a race here in Spain. Absolutely incredible. Three safety cars here in Spain now as we go into lap 20. Mika Hoon just took a drive through penalty. That's not good. So that Haas driver is going to lose quite a large chunk of time here as he is now going to have to serve a mandatory drive through penalty for speeding under safety car conditions. All those front runners now coming in during the safety car conditions because those look at those tires silver arrow was getting ready to go on 12 laps with his enters everybody into the pits now everybody into the pits now for this safety car everybody wanting to go on fresh tires fresh wing changes we'll see what happens with Mika Hoon he comes into the pits he's getting a fresh wing fresh tires that means ladies and gentlemen that Mika Hoon will still have to serve a drive-through penalty if you come through the pits and you don't drive from start to finish without touching, without going into the pits, you need to serve a drive-through penalty. So he's still looking to serve a drive-through penalty here. We'll see when he does it. I do believe he's got three laps to do it. All of these drivers into the pits now with Blind in the Mercedes taking a gamble. He is now up into the race leading position with our race leader now fourth as you can see he is in the lead after all of the fresh pit and tire changes so it is blind in position one with the two racing points following closely behind him in second and third all drivers looking to catch up to that safety car queue now as they're all coming out of the pits jersey three and a half seconds behind the mercedes of racer in that 10th position we'll see if we can see a fight from him jeb Currently on nine lap old enters. He has still not rejoined us in this race. It looks like he went into the pits for a wing change only and did not receive new inter tires. Lucario at the back of the grid currently on enters of three lap old life. Three seconds behind Jeb. We'll see if these drivers can catch the safety car soon. Silver Arrow, I imagine, not too concerned with the fact that he's no longer in the lead of this race. He will have to, of course, avoid contact 
when he tries to regain that lead of the race position. Everybody coming close together now as race through 33 into the pits. You'll see Jersey take the last points position on the grid. Skybit's currently in ninth now. Quite a few different stop strategies here as Racer 33, or, or I should say blind in that Mercedes, currently only having stopped once here in this race in Spain. Very, very interesting considering the three safety cars. So we'll see if he's able to stretch those tires of 13 laps for another 11 laps. Right now, looking to go 24 laps on one set of inter tires. We will see. Five drivers currently out of this race here in Spain. It is two Ferraris. Ferrari not going to be happy in Marinello with this finish here in Spain. Of course, we remember the last double DNF where Ferrari was current was in Brazil of 2019 as they touched each other fighting for race position. The safety car is in and we are back to green flag racing and there is a yellow going through sector one and it is the Renault of Aleph. No, down the pit lane straight, Aleph and the other Renault is now out of this race. <clears throat> we'll see if this brings out yet again another safety car. It could be that we just started the lap. Those guys are able to bring that car into the pit lane. Hopefully we don't see yet again another safety car here as I'm sure these drivers are really itching to go. A total of seven drivers now out of this race. And another racing point. Whoa, 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 whoa. We missed that. That racing point guy who was in third position at the restart is now out of the race. So we see a huge shift in the standings here as the blind Mercedes is currently into first position. Two seconds ahead of that racing point. That racing point doing a very good job to hold up the former race leader of Silver Arrow in that Haas. We'll see if he's able to overtake that racing point to try and fight that Mercedes back for the lead. But currently it's blind in the Mercedes. Ozil in the racing point and Silver Arrow in the Haas rounding off our top three drivers. Typhoon now back up into fourth. He must be happy with that as he was currently as he was recently second place here in this race. Skybits into fifth. Don't ever count out the Alfa Romeo of Skybits. He can be very quick and he can be very determined to make up quite a few positions here as we enter the third phase of our race here on lap 24 now. It's racer 33 into the pits in that Mercedes. It is his fifth pit stop, guys. His fifth pit stop here in Spain. Not going, not things are not going the way he wants. He's got to be running out of tires and wing changes and things like this at this point in the race. It's just a crazy amount of times into the pits, I think. With Lucario currently in P7 after four stops, the safety car 
really helping a lot of these drivers here with early on issues here in Barcelona. Crazy race. What a crazy race. It's weather affected. There's been three safety cars. There's been seven, seven drivers unable to finish the race here in this weather affected race. It's just been an absolute crazy race. Super exciting to see races like this going on. If you guys are just tuning into the stream now, we are on lap 25 here and there's a flag in sector three. What has gone on here? We see Jeb in currently in sector three. We see Miku Hoon in sector three and we see Racer 33. We're gonna be looking for damage on a few of these cars. I wonder, it looks like the Mercedes of Racer 33 has his wing intact still, as well as the Haas of Miku Hoon. It may have been caused by the AI driven McLaren from Jeb. I'm sure Jeb not too impressed with his race result. However, with all of the DNFs, his retired, his car is still might finish in the points here. Things looking intact on his front wing as well. So we did see a yellow in sector three. It's possible that somebody just spun off the circuit. Silver arrow still on the rear of that racing point. However, that racing point falling quite far behind the Mercedes of blind. Keep in mind, the Mercedes of blind is going to be looking to create a gap here to change those 16 lap old intermediate tires. Currently five seconds ahead of the racing point behind him. I'm sure Silver Arrow really wanted to get past this racing point here to try and fight his way back into race lead. Typhoon also very close to the rear of that Haas driver now. I'm sure fatigue is starting to become a factor for some of these drivers now as this rain affected race has been quite long at this point. Three safety cars stretching that race out, slowing down lap times has definitely played a significant role here in the Spanish Grand Prix. And it's Stig and that Red Bull into the pits now. Those intermediate tires can take quite a long time to warm up, keep in mind, as we see Stig now heading out of the pits on those fresh inters. Another thing to note with these intermediate tires, they have a much longer tire life than you would see on any of the top three dry compounds, whether it be soft, medium, or hard compound tires. These intermediates have quite a long life because they are not getting as hot as you would see some of those drier compound tires get due to the wet conditions on track. So it's very possible that we may not see a pit from the Mercedes of blind up in that race lead position as he is currently leading the race on 17 lap old intermediate tires as we see Lucario get a three second time penalty after multiple warnings in that seventh position. Not too sure what those multiple warnings were for. It could be going off track, exceeding limits, or it could be cutting corners, both of which are very easy to do as we are running with strict guidelines for corner cuts here. The FAA doing a very good job of enforcing those restrictions on these drivers. As we move now into lap 27, it is blind in the Mercedes, Ozil in the racing point, followed by Silver Arrow very closely, less than a second behind in the Haas. Jersey now passing Typhoon for fourth position. Typhoon back into fifth. Skybits in sixth. These drivers all very close. Four, five, and six. All less than a second behind the driver in third. And it is Jersey coming ahead of the Haas. Jersey up now into third. It is not clear whether or not he served his five second time penalty in the pits or not. If he did, he is going to be very excited about his current podium position. Silver Arrow though, having been quite dominant throughout the majority of this race is gonna be looking to make a comeback as he is currently only half a second behind the Renault. Thank you very much, LF. I greatly appreciate the compliment. Thank you very much. I do a lot of commentating on stream. If I'm racing, I retire. 
if uh, I get too much damage and then I commentate the race makes everything super exciting. I've been getting a lot of compliments on it lately, so I'm hoping I'll be able to keep this a regular thing for you guys here at the ARL Racing League. Thank you so much for the follow, my dude. I greatly appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. Hope to see you around more often. Maybe you'll tune in for some of my racing at some point. I will be streaming some of my league races moving forward, hopefully. And of course, lots and lots of great commentary action here as it is Silver Arrow into that second position now. Quite a gap to make up between him and Blind. We may have seen a bit of contact here. I might have missed it as I was reading the chat. It was a very tight grid. It's possible that that racing point just went off track a bit as we don't see any contact on his wing at the moment. Skybits into fifth, Typhoon into fourth, and Jersey into third as Silver Arrow makes his way into second place. Looking to close the gap on that driver in the lead. It is the Mercedes of Blind leading this race here on 19 lap old intermediate tires. Very crazy as we see Stig now just cross the line entering his 28th lap of the race. I imagine these safety cars playing a huge role in whether or not we see any lapped cars here on the circuit. We are only five laps away from the finish of this race. As it is blind, Silver Arrow, Jersey, Typhoon, and Skybits rounding off the top five drivers here in Barcelona. As you can see, these intervals are very, very tight as Skybits is possibly looking to make a move here on Typhoon. We're getting a little bit of a sense of the visibility for these drivers here in Spain as well as we're on board with the Alfa Romeo of Skybits, who, if you didn't know, is also my teammate in another league. We are driving for the McLaren team in the PPR Esports Division 2 for PC. He's actually currently in P4 in that championship after two rounds, so definitely a driver to watch here, as I know Typhoon is also quite quick in that Williams. He is now taking a bit of time out of Skybits. Blind having a, super, a superb drive in that Mercedes. 20 lap old intermediate tires. We'll see what kind of grip he's got over the next couple of laps here as Silver Arrow tries to close the gap. We'll see if we have a pit here from Blind. With the wet conditions, you never know. Those tires could be very, very slick indeed and could end his race if he's not careful going into the braking zones on turns. Jersey in third position now. He's been fighting a very, very hard race. Very, very hard race as he did in fact start in second position and we've seen him all up and down the grid for this race. He is now back very close to his starting position in third. But that Williams of Typhoon also having a very hard fought race today. He will be looking to come back and push back into second place, which is where he was running in the first phase of this race. Aleph having crashed out in this race, obviously not too impressed with that. He was having quite a good drive. And he will finish with his car in 12th place. Now, keep in mind, guys, that these races always see contact and collisions that can't necessarily be picked up in real time here on stream, but I'm sure many of these drivers do record, and I'm sure we'll see some post-race penalties come ahead of round seven for the next Grand Prix for the ARL. Stig taking a three-second time penalty after multiple warnings were given to him by the FIA. Seeing the FIA come down here hard with those strict racing restrictions. We see the racing point finally leave the session now as he is over it. He is upset, I imagine. I would be too. I've seen quite a few DNFs over my last season. What a race, guys. What a race. The safety car playing a massive part in this race here in Spain. Three safety cars is how many we've seen so far as we are now three laps away from the end of this race here in Spain. It is the Spanish Grand Prix in Barcelona. And it has been a fantastic, fantastic race to watch. I hope everybody's been enjoying the commentary.
if you are still with us on stream and you are enjoying this race here in the Spanish Grand Prix, let me know in the chat below. I'd love to hear some feedback on how things are going for you as the viewer. Let us know what you're thinking. Any race predictions, please leave them in the chat. I'd love to read them. It's currently blind leading us through on the 31st lap with Silver Arrow 13.2 seconds behind him. What a gap between the top two drivers at the moment. I would blame the racing point of Ozil for that as Silver Arrow was leading the race earlier on. Racer 33 taking a three second time penalty. We'll have to take a look at all the penalties after this race. Due to the amount of safety cars and the longevity of this race, it's just been absolutely crazy. All of the penalties that we've been seeing come across from the FIA here in the Spanish Grand Prix. A left coming over the comms now giving us a bit of insight into what happened with his car. He was, of course, in that Renault. As you can see, he's out of the race. Stig in the Red Bull apparently came across the middle of the race on his screen and made him crash, but the race is still amazing to watch for him. He's loving and hating the race. Obviously, it's been a super, super dynamic race. The weather, the safety cars, it's been crazy. It's very hard not to talk about the safety cars here in this race as they've made such a drastic impact. Fantastic to see Blind on the one-stop strategy. He is the only remaining driver on the grid to pull a one-stop here in this race. I'm sure he was only he only stopped after that first safety car. You can see he's 23 lap old intermediate tires. He's currently the leader on tire wear for this race. What a drive from him that we're seeing here at the Spanish Grand Prix. Silver Arrow has not made a dent in that gap at all, which just shows the caliber of the Mercedes driver up in the lead right now. Stig, again, receiving another three-second time penalty from the FIA. The FIA throwing down the gauntlet here for a lot of these drivers, saying, hey, stay on track or you're going to get penalized. Very important for the FIA to keep an eye on these things. Jersey is into third position right now with only three tenths behind him of typhoon we're gonna see if jersey is still hanging on to that five second penalty that he received earlier in this race hopefully for him i'm sure he would be loving to have served that in the pits at some point jersey currently has a little bit of front end wing damage on his front left he is missing a front left end plate at the moment could play a huge impact into his race as it is Typhoon less than half a second behind him and Skybits in fifth a second behind third position right now we are now entering the final lap here on Spain looking to see some great action some final overtaking as we look to see who finishes the race in which position Skybits now in fifth Typhoon in fourth, Jersey in third, Silver Arrow in second, and Blind still leading the race by, if I can say, a massive gap of 13.7 seconds. Fantastic drive from him. Great strategy by the Mercedes crew. It's looking to be a double points, a double points finish so far for the two Mercedes drivers as his teammate Racer 33 is in ninth on the 10-lap old intermediate tires. A lot of these drivers, I'm sure, extremely exhausted after the long race that we've had here in Spain due to those safety cars coming on to reset the track. Blind now with two turns to go. Remember, on those, la those old tires, we'll see if he can make it around this last corner. It's looking like Blind is going to cross the checkered flag here in Spain. And he does. He comes home first here for the Spanish Grand Prix in the Mercedes. It is now Silver Arrow following closely behind. Well, I shouldn't say too closely. 13.7 seconds behind our race leader. He will finish in second. Very good finish for the Haas driver. Jersey crossing the line third. However, that five second penalty did come into play here as Sky Bits. As, oh man, we are seeing quite a shake up here on the grid. Blind takes first, 
okay, on the 25-lap old tires with Silver Arrow crossing the line second, but dropping back to third after, I guess, a time penalty has affected his race. Typhoon up into P2. Very good job for that Williams driver. I can't see him being disappointed with that. What a race, guys. What a race. Let's take a look and see what the final grid is shaping up to look like. If, if anybody wants to do interviews... I'm more than happy to interview some of these drivers here. What a crazy race for some of these guys here in the Spanish Grand Prix. Let's take a look at the final grid. It is blind coming in home with that Mercedes win. A P1 for him. Look at that. He started fifth on the grid now. He ran a 132-1 for his best lap in the race. That looks like it may be one of the best laps for the race so far. Um... Typhoon coming home in second in the Williams. Silver Arrow in the Haas is third. Skybits, a nice, impressive fourth position from him, having started ninth on the grid in the Alfa Romeo. He was on a three-stop strat with all the safety cars. Jersey 28 is fifth in the Renault after penalties pushed him back out of third. Lucario is sixth in the Red Bull, starting seventh. Very good. One-place improvement for him. Ozil is seventh in the Racing Point. Mika Hoon is eighth in the Haas. Racer 33 coming home to bring Mercedes two points in ninth. Stig in the Red Bull finishing off the top 10 is a um, very impressive race from him. Quite a few penalties as he took 15 seconds of penalties there. Five penalties over the course of the race. Jeb finishing 11th. I'm not too sure what the stewards are going to do about Jeb as he did leave the race. His car, however, was controlled by AI for, I want to say, at least 80% of the race. It is Kissed in the Ferrari, finishing third. Aleph, 12th in the Renault. These drivers did not finish the race. It is very unfortunate to see so many DNFs, but it was a spectacular race. It was absolutely spectacular here in Spain. Well, guys, that concludes the Spanish Grand Prix. What a race. Three safety cars. Quite a few collisions and a multitude of dnfs here in spain we'll see if we can get some of these drivers in for some interviews i'd love to talk with a few of these these drivers after such a long race okay let's see what we can do here All right, we are now in the Amateur Racing League interview room. Um, let's see who we want to interview here. Let's get Skybits in the interview room. I want to see Typhoon, if Typhoon's able to come and give me a quick talk. Um, I'd love to see um, Silver Arrow and Blind. Looking to get a couple of these drivers into Discord now for some last-minute interviews. Typhoon, now in the interview room with us. Typhoon, how are you feeling after that crazy Spanish Grand Prix? Uh I gotta say that was one of the most insane races uh, I ever raced in the whole of league racing, for out both PC and PS4. Um, three, if I'm correct, three safety cars as well. Uh, that's the first ever time that ever happened in my sim racing career, and uh, first podium, uh, second podium this year as well, which is a great feeling. Awesome to hear, man. Awesome to hear. Yeah, it was three safety cars. You were running in second position for the very. You know, the first phase of that race was very, very crucial to you. You were running very closely with Silver Arrow ahead of you in that Haas. How did you find the traction throughout the race behind staying that close to a car in front of you like that? Um, 
I found it quite difficult, especially in a few sectors. Um, but I still try to manage to, you know, contain the grip and uh, contain my consistency. Uh -huh. And if I if I kept on going, then uh, I would, you know, reach the top and becoming second place is a bit of a shock to me, to be honest. Well, it was a fantastic podium finish, P2 for Typhoon. What a race, what a Spanish Grand Prix. Congratulations on the podium, Typhoon. Thank you so much for coming in and talking with us today. That was a superb race. Thank you so much. Thank you. Skybits now finishing fourth position in the Spanish Grand Prix. How are you feeling, buddy? What a race. Uh, yeah, I feel good, man. Um, my strategy was, I don't know, it kind of messed up because of all the safety cars. So I pretty much just pitted every time there was one to have fresh tires. Uh, I was good from uh, the dude in first place, man. 23 laps in, he still kept the same tires, you know? He's amazing. Uh, there, was, there was a corner that I cut. Had I not cut it, I probably <laughs> A little bit of back, back, a little bit of back. back there. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, nah, it was a good race, a good race. Everyone was good. Me and uh, Typhoon had a, it's like, I, I tried to pass him the last one. I tried to just dive bomb him in the rain, which it could have been bad, but I, I think I scared them a bit. <laughs> but nah, it was, it was fun, it was fun. How did, you, how did you find the traction throughout the race? Uh, it was fine, except for the, I think it was, what, turn seven sometimes. I feel like I'll lose it, so I have to, like, break. I think it was turn seven, or is it turn seven, you know, like, the little uphill? Eight and nine, I think, Some, something like I'm that. I'm not too sure of the exact turns just yet. I haven't studied Spain too, too much. The one um, where everyone spins. <laughs> <laughs> there's, few, there's, a few, there's a few turns where everyone spins. But I'm um, glad you had a good race. Congratulations on the P4. A lot of points for Alfa Romeo. It's unfortunate that your teammate wasn't able to finish. Were you guys communicating at all throughout that race? Uh, no, not really. Not I really? just always trust and Don Lucio to, to get top five most of the time. So I'm lucky that he crashed out. But, you know, we'll get him next time. Okay. Well, thank you for coming in and interviewing. Congratulations on the all fourth right. place finish. What a race. What a race. Finish. Starting the race in ninth. Coming out into fourth. Very good finish for you. Lucario. We have Lucario in the interview room from Red Bull. Looking to talk to him. Hello. Welcome to the interview room. How was your race? I know you had a very tricky race early into the pits. It was a very interesting race with all the safety cars, difference in strategy, a lot of things coming into play. How was the Spanish Grand Prix for you in the Red Bull? Oh. I'm not gonna lie, this was my probably my most exciting league race I've ever had because like I dropped back down to um, P15 I believe, and um, managed to get back up because of the safety cars and got really lucky. And um, I actually grabbed and uh, I, gra I went sat up off the internet uh, in qualifying because I thought it was gonna rain, but I'm never gonna do that again because that didn't work out. <laughs> yeah. Those racing setups that you can find online can be very tricky to learn in a short period of time as well. So it's very mm. difficult to switch from a setup on the fly like that. Obviously, I'm sure the wet race catching a lot of the drivers here in round six off a little bit. It's not often you see too many wet races in these championships, but what an exciting race. Um, how are you finding penalties from the FIA throughout the race? I noticed that you had a few of them. Was it just um, traction control issues, issues staying around on the curbs? Uh, was it corner cutting? What was it that really impacted those times for you? So, um, let's see. First of all, the first safety car, I think I hit the racing point from the back and I got five second penalty. Um, okay. I saved it at my, fir uh, at my first pit stop. I served the penalty and um, let's see, I went wide in the... Um, I don't know which turn that is. I went wide three times in the same turn, but um, yeah, that's how I got my three-second penalty. Okay. And um, yeah, luckily, um, who was it? Ozil, who was in front of me, had six seconds, I believe. So lucky to get P6 after a race like that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. It was a very crazy race. So many different position changes. It was so difficult to kind of predict who was going to come out where. Tire life... You know, all the tire changes, all the wing changes, all the safety cars, the rain. What a crazy race. 
Thank you so much for joining us in the interview room. I'm glad you had a P6 finish after such a long race. I imagine nobody was expecting it to be quite that long, but uh, fantastic race, and I hope to see you in here for an interview on the next race. Yeah, thanks for commentating today. You did a really good job. I had the stream uh, running in the background the entire time. I was listening, and uh, yeah, you did. Actually, you actually did a good job. So um, feel free well, to commentate next week as well, and the entire league just... Awesome. Well, thank you for the compliments. Um, yeah, this is the first time I've commentated a 50% race um, mm -hmm. on my own and actually ever. But uh, I've had a lot of people telling me my commentating is pretty good, so I decided to give it a shot when Skybits told me that he would be driving in the championship. So mm -hmm. thank you for having me. I hope to join you guys again for your next race, which I do believe is Monaco. Correct. And, uh, of course, Monaco the Monaco Grand Prix being one of the craziest Grand Prix on the calendar. I'd be looking forward to it very much. Anyway, I'm going to dip out of Discord now, but thank you very much for having me again, and congratulations on the P6 finish. Yep, thank you. Okay, guys, that was Lucario from the ARL Racing League. We had a chance to interview Typhoon, who finished second, Skybits, who finished fourth, and, of course, Lucario, who finished sixth here in round six of the Spanish Grand Prix in their championship racing. If I'm not mistaken, guys, like I just mentioned before, we are going to be looking to possibly do this next week as well. It is Monaco. So details will come out for that throughout the week. If anybody watching the stream is interested in seeing a VOD of the commentary, one will be made available on YouTube. The YouTube link is in my stream um, section down below. So check out my YouTube. Subscribe if you're interested in seeing the full race commentary for the Spanish Grand Prix in the ARL Amateur Racing League.